So today we're at Stanton Drew, which is a small and picturesque village about 10 miles west of Bath. The circle dates from around 3000 BCE to 2000 BCE. That's to say it's late Neolithic, early Bronze Age. So four and a half to 5,000 years old. The field often has cattle in it. Mercifully, there's nothing today. I'm not a huge fan of mixing with cows. They can be a little bit hairy at times. It's a pretty windy day. I hope you can hear me okay. I've got the wind muff on. It's been the subject of a number of archaeological surveys over the years. The first of which was by William Stukeley back in the 17th century again in the early 1900s and as recently as 2010 when a local archaeological society, the Camerton Archaeological Society, I believe it was, uh, did a comprehensive um, geophysics survey and what they found was really quite extraordinary. It seems the site was once accompanied by a, an immense number of uh, wooden posts all closely grouped together in a big circle or disc rather like an artificial forest. It was very symmetrical and there's uh, some conjecture as to what it was for. Lots of the stones are now flattened, or recumbent, to use the archaeological term. Um, so something of the effect of the circle is lost. And inevitably we've had plenty of rain in the last day or two, so things are a bit soggy too. The farmer's got a severe uh, mould problem here by the look of it. Everywhere you look, everywhere you step, it's Mole City. And some of these stones are mighty big beasts. I mean, that's got a way a good few tons on its own, I would think. And all of them covered in this wonderful lichen, or lichen, whichever your preference is. We're also very close to uh, Bristol International Airport here. So I've got the, uh, the flight path or the approach just above me. So it's uh, not the quietest of places. And I think it's that 
time in the afternoon when uh, a great many flights come in. The stones sit on private land, but the landowner's kind enough to allow public access. Uh, the only thing he asks in return is a pound in the honesty box at the gate, and you're free to roam. There's a few parking spaces just outside the field, which this time of year are available. I wouldn't come in high summer and expect to park there, but you can park in the pub car park just up the road and just take a stroll through the village. This local stone has a wonderful ruddy red element to it. I'm not sure whether the camera will pick it up, but it's a rather nice colour. Very distinct from the stones just a few miles east over at Avebury and Stonehenge. The sarsen stones from the local marble downs and the blue stones from the Baselli Mountains of Wales. This is a very different kind of geology. A softer stone, I would imagine. But nevertheless, they've obviously stood the test of time. Three of the stones now sit in the uh, local pub garden, the Druid Arms, and those stones um, are considerably older than these. I say these date from around 3000 BC to 2000 BC. The ones in the pub garden, known as the Cove, date about a thousand years earlier than that, around 4000 BC. I seem to have lost the good sunny weather for a few minutes. Big bank of cloud rolling up from the southwest. Time for yet another shower, I think. I'm very lucky. I've actually got this place to myself this afternoon, which is relatively rare, I would imagine. Sun's getting pretty low in the sky now and it's blowing an absolute hoolie. I think there's yet more rain on the way, so I'm gonna make my way back now. Just one last look around the field. I've seen two other people all afternoon, which is uh, something of a luxury in a place like this and uh, I hope you've enjoyed having a, a look around. Stanton Drew